Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome back. We're here again to give you another tip of the week. Hi, I'm Judy, I'm with the Northwest Sewing Center and I'm gonna show you a little bit about narrow rolled hem feet in the sewing machines. It's really easy to do, but it does take some practice. So first of all, the regular narrow hem foot that most machines ship with these days has a four millimeter width rolled hem on them. And that's pretty narrow. It's actually somewhere close to an eighth of an inch. To use it, you put it on the machine, you use a straight stitch. Um, you don't have to use a special needle position or anything. It's just straight, uh, right down the middle. You fold your first piece of fabric. You fold it twice in a narrow hem. You'd only need to do about an inch or two. You don't have to press the whole thing. You're gonna slide this under the foot. Put your foot down, put your needle down. The trick here is getting this roll into the rolled section at the front of the foot. So once you start going, you kind of have to let it roll into there. So now we're gonna continue down this side of the hem and you'll see in the back that it is double rolling and stitching down. And there you have it, a nice rolled hem all the way down the side. Okay. So there are different sizes that you can use on the narrow rolled hem. Some of them aren't quite as narrow. This one is a six millimeter rolled hem and it has a wider scroll in the front than the regular four millimeter does. Um, many machines offer you the options of two different sizes. Uh, there are rolled hem feet for machines that need to have a shank attached to it. There are our rolled hem feet for um, different machines with different stitch widths because you can use a zigzag on these stitches. Um, most people, you know, learning to use it, you're going to want to go with a straight stitch. But let me show you the wider stitch and how it, it works very similarly. Um, it's a little trickier because you have you have a wider piece of fabric that you're dealing with. There it is. So I tried many times just to roll it a little bit wider on your fabric. So see that's a little bit wider than the one that we did for the eighth of an inch, which is the four millimeter roll. So there are a couple of ways to get your fabric in the scroll. One of them is to stitch a straight stitch, but have some tails on your thread and use it. I haven't had much success with that just yet. As I said, this takes practice. So another one is to start with this. The difficult part is getting, working it into the scroll, which is kind of what you use the, the thread tails for. I'm gonna work it into the scroll here, just kind of saw it in. I'm gonna put my foot down and then just lift it a tiny bit and move my foot backwards along it so I can be at the beginning. So we're at the beginning and it's already in the scroll. And I really need to use my left finger to get this rolling correctly right here. And notice I have it at a slight angle so that it fills the scroll as it goes. And there we have a rolled hem. Thanks again for joining us for another tip of the week. Take care. Bye-bye.